and welcome to another small town business plan broadcast. <laughs> Happy to have you here with us. Thank you very much for uh, sticking with us here. And uh, we're going to we're we're going into the uh, uh, ten points of uh, creating a small town business plan. And I should tell you right off the bat that um, there's no hidden uh, message here. Uh, I'm not going to hit you somewhere down the road with uh, buy my business plan for $99.95 and I'll send you all the stuff you need and all of that. Uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, this is uh, this is going to be strictly all the information you're going to need is going to be here. It's going to be free and uh, you can do with it as you as you need to. So we're happy to provide this for you. And uh, there's not going to be uh, any uh, sticker shock uh, thing or program or course or anything else down the road that uh, is going to interfere with, oh, uh, uh, yeah, well, I was taken in by that. No, you're not going to be taken in by anything. So it's, it's here and it'll help you or it won't. Um, yeah, that's uh, going to be your decision. So, all right, we're into uh, part two of 10 of how to create a small town business plan for your small town business. Maybe a startup might be a might be a uh, home based business. It might be a storefront. Uh, whatever it is, but uh, we're here to uh, help you get that business going and off the um, off the uh, ground. Uh, we want to talk first, I guess, about the sections of the small business plan that we're going to be covering, and this will help you also. Um, the seven questions that we asked you in the previous video, if you haven't seen those, you might want to go back and uh, and do those to uh, make sure and this is what we're going to do with the information we get from those seven questions so so to start with we need an executive summary and as you might think well how can i write an executive summary if i don't know if i don't have the business plan to write the executive summary of it well that's right the executive summary is going to be the first thing in your business plan but we're going to write it last it's going to be the last thing we write so we have to assemble the whole business plan and then we're going to make about a one and a one to one and a half pages or so. This is what the banker's going to look at. He's going to look at this summary and uh, how you describe the business, how it's going to work, how you're going to make money, how you're going to pay them back if uh, if you're borrowing money or whatever. So uh, th this is what it's going to you know, this is what it's going to entail. Uh, if you're not using the business plan to get money, uh, it's for keeping you on track. It's a road map to get you to where you're going. And, you know, if you if you think about a, uh, a an airline pilot flying, flying from New York to London, can't see the airport for 99.9% .9 of the uh, of the trip. But he has a map. He has instruments. He has uh, coordinates to show him how to go. And that's what your business plan is is going to do. So the executive summary, we're going to write that last. That'll be uh, the last in this uh, group of uh, things I'm going to talk to you about. And we're going to end with that. The second part of your business plan, we got to have a company description. This has got to go into great detail about who, as we asked in the uh, seven questions, who are you? Uh, what's the business? How does it work? How's it going to make money? Uh, How's it going to sustain itself? How long is it going to take before it's profitable? Uh, how, how, who are the principals in it? Uh, who are the people that are making this happen? All of those things, very, very, very important uh, in uh, your business plan, explaining how everything is going to happen. Uh, let's see. Uh, next, we're going to have uh, an objective statement or business goals. So this is going to be, what are you going to do in the first year? What are you going to, what can we expect at the end of the second year or the third year? or whatever. Three years is about the maximum because things change so quickly in our electronic age, even in small towns. Now you do have a small towns, uh, a small town advantage is that things sometimes progress a little slower in some areas than they do in large cities because, you know, not everybody immediately jumps on board with the latest fad or the latest news or the latest whatever. So uh, your objective statement and business goals, uh, one to three years, should be more than uh, more than enough to get that done. Next, we're going to talk about the business management and the structure. Who's going to run things? Who's going to make the final decisions? So if you're a partner, 
or a partnership, let me give you this one piece of advice. Somebody has to be 51% of the partnership. The reason being is that somebody has got to make the final decision. You know, if you get into an argument back and forth about a, a procedure, a product, service you want to offer, any of those things, it's not going to be pretty. So, so you needed to, uh, if you are doing a partnership, you need to decide somebody's going to have to have the final word in that partnership. All right. So should be, should be uh, pretty good. So the, uh, the next thing we got to talk about is your products and services. So products and services, what are you going to offer? What, what things do you, do you have? You're going to need to spell those out. What are you going to do? Pick five things that are profitable. Pick five of the most profitable things that you can come up with that will sustain your business because that's the one, those are the things that are going to make you the most money. Uh, the target market is large enough to, there's enough demand for that product or that service or those five products and services. So define those out as you're, as you're going along. Next, we've got to develop a marketing and a sales plan. Uh, how are you going to advertise? Uh, how are you going to market this product? How are you going to let people know that you're open and that you have a business and that you're happening? Uh, all of this is going on. So, uh, yeah, very important. Uh, marketing is the can make the difference. That's where you identify your target market. The difference between marketing and advertising. My business card is advertising. Who I decide to give it to is marketing. So, all right. So there we are. All right. And of course, uh, we've got to have a business and financial statement. We've got to have a business and financial statement. Um, and uh, being a brand new business, you may not know where to find the information uh, on this. Uh, I will give you three places to go. Uh, government has all kinds of agencies that will help you. Uh, they have ratios of what a hardware store should do, a bakery should do, a landscaper should do, a car mechanic should do, whatever. And uh, we'll be providing all those as we go through, as we go through the business plan here. Uh, next, we're going to have some financial projections. And again, this may be difficult for you to also come up with. So um, we'll give you information on where to find that also free. There's plenty of resources out there uh, that will sit down with you and they know the score, they know the stuff, and they will be happy to help you write this plan and get it off the ground. What we're doing here is we're just, um, we're just concentrating on small towns and small markets because those are, those are not like uh, doing a business on, uh, you know, in some main street and some, town of, of, of you know 500,000 to a million people because you may not you may not have 10,000 people in your hometown so uh, this is going to be very different uh, working it out uh, working it out this way so all right so um, that's where we want to that's where we want to go uh, over the next uh, few videos so uh, in our next video of course we're going to start um, with the um, things you have to compile for the company description. Also, you're going to have to decide what kind of a legal structure your business is going to be. Are you going to be a corporation, sole proprietor, uh, an LLC, a limited liability corpor corporation? You're going to be a partnership. Uh, I'm going to go into all of those uh, as we uh, as we continue on with this business plan, this 10 point um, program. So. As I mentioned earlier, there's no, there's not going to be a surprise somewhere down the line that uh, this is going to happen or, or this is going to, uh, this is going to, uh, uh, I'm not going to make some pitch to you for some uh, course or something like that that I'm selling. I'm not selling anything here, helping you out if we can. So we hope that you'll uh, stay with us. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, if you find, uh, this interesting, of course, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the notification bell. You'll be notified whenever we have a, a new podcast up. So uh, thanks for uh, joining us and uh, 
we will see you on the next podcast.